Want to know about CeraVe in the state of Phil? You've seen it all over Instagram, all over TikTok, all over YouTube. So now I'm finally here to tell you what to know about Cetaphil and CeraVe. Hey guys, if you're new here, I'm April. I'm a skincare and cosmetic chemist. I talk about all things skincare, back end, front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in science-based skincare, definitely hit that like button for me. Subscribe to this channel, join my family. We're here every week talking about skincare. Hey. <laughs> Okay, so today's video is a much requested video. I've seen this video all over YouTube. There's been so many reviews and today I really do need to put my own spin on it, you know? I've used a few of Cetaphil and CeraVe products throughout the years and I just unfortunately just have one with me right now, which is the moisturizing cream from Cetaphil. So I don't have a broad range of products to show you guys, but I see the ingredients. So I will be focusing on the ingredients because that's what I do. I look at ingredients all day so I can give you guys my two cents take it or leave it i'm not your dermatologist just just go with the flow okay so we're gonna do three products today if you've been watching my recent videos i've downsized pretty much to just all three products because i feel like anything more than that is just a little bit overwhelming we're just gonna keep to the basics of our cleanser our moisturizer and sunscreen so some of the key differences is these two brands one of them is owned by godama which is their parent brand that owns a bunch of other brands and then CeraVe is owned by L'Oreal, which owns a host of a lot of other brands. So all of their R&D are done by these two manufacturers, pretty much. So all of these products that you're seeing here, pretty much all are made by the same R&D team and the same company. They just market it with different names, just so you guys know that. I'm now just going to dive into the products that I'm going to talk about today. So I think with Cetaphil. So Cetaphil cleanser, I'm going to talk about the gentle skin cleanser. This cleanser is for all skin types, which I really appreciate so anyone can get their hands on it and not feel like, oh, but I don't have, you know, dry skin or whatever. I just love that it includes everyone, okay? This one has your basics of the basics. Like it has sodium lower sulfate, which has a bad rap, but there's nothing wrong with sodium lower sulfate. I work with sodium lower sulfate all day at the lab. Literally great cleansing power. Me and other chemists have done a lot of like foam tests on it. Sodium lower sulfate to this day beats every other surfactant out there when it comes to foaming power and cleansing power. So I really, really like SLS. It has parabens. So if you're not a paraben lover, you might not like these products. But yeah, like I said, the basics of the basics. It has SLS, it has parabens pretty much all the vilified ingredients this product has but I think it's a great beginner cleanser if you're not looking to get too much out of a cleanser then this would be great for you moving on to CeraVe I know the CeraVe doesn't have a general cleanser for everyone I noticed they have a lot of like you know hydrating cleanser for normal to dry skin and then they have foaming cleanser for normal to oily skin like they don't have a just general cleanser for everyone I guess they're renewing SA cleanser but that one has an active of salicylic acid, so I don't think. Anyway, I just wish that they had something just like Cetaphil with just that cleanser that applies to everyone, but didn't. So I'm just going to talk about their hydrating feature cleanser today. So this one is more for people with dry skin. Right off the bat, this product has a lot of ingredients. Just a lot more ingredients than the counterpart, Cetaphil. This one has a lot of ceramides, which is expected because it's for dry skin types. And I can see that they've updated the formula. It doesn't have any parabens. It has ethylhexoglycerin, which is a more modern preservative, newer on the market. It has vitamin E, it has no actives in it though. Overall, more of a basic cleanser as well. If I had to pick, i pick Cetaphil. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on to moisturizer, starting with CeraVe. So I'm going to review this one that I actually have with me right here is the moisturizing cream. I've been using this for a little over three weeks now and my skin loves it. I have so many like dry patches in my skin that I didn't even notice because of obviously the winter time. You know, our skin just getting drier because of low humidity in the air. And this product has really come through for me. I really, really like it. It has acetyl alcohol, which is like a fatty alcohol. So it'll help make that product feel good on the skin. It has petrolatum which is always great for your skin. Uh, it just helps to seal in moisture in the skin, great emollient, glycerin, vitamin E, silicones that also help with the aesthetics of the product. I really, really like this product. And yeah, it doesn't have any parabens if you're concerned about that. Definitely, definitely a great, great, great buy for this winter season. I really, really enjoy this one. Moving on to the CeraVe counterpart. So I try to do one for oily skin and it looks like this brand really just likes dry skin because I couldn't really see a lotion or moisturizer for oily skin people. So I want to review this one called the Daily Moisturizing Lotion, an oil-free moisturizer with hyaluronic acid. And it has a lot of ceramides again, which is great for repairing skin barrier. I mean, I guess if you're putting it on your body, it shouldn't be much of an issue. 
issue because you know your body has thicker skin that could take a lot more compared to your face so whether or not you have dry or oily skin i think you should be fine with this product but to be quite honest i really really like this one a lot more Ceramides just hasn't worked great for me in the past since I have oily skin. I just feel like ceramides is just too much for my pores to handle. So I would definitely opt for the Cetaphil. Yeah, Cetaphil for the win. Moving on to sunscreen. For sunscreen, I noticed that only Cetaphil has actual like sunscreen, like physical sunscreens. As a person of color, physical sunscreens and you guys know white cast is just... I, I don't do physical. I haven't found one at least that hasn't given me a white cast yet So I would not be reviewing their actual like sunscreen But I will review their daily facial moisturizer that has a SPF of 35 and actually this is a chemical Which is pretty common when you have like a, a sunscreen that's mixed in with a lotion Typically it's gonna be chemical because physical ingredients doesn't really mix very well with lotions So this one is a chemical sunscreen. However, there's no oxybenzone which a lot of people are concerned about because of the reefs and the myth on it causing uh, breast cancer. But other than that, this one is a pretty decent sunscreen. If you'd rather have your lotion and sunscreen in one product, you know, you want to keep everything simple, you just want to have one cleanser and do a sunscreen, then this is definitely, definitely a great, great product for you. For CeraVe, they don't have any sunscreen products at all, like not even physical. So I'm just also going to talk about this one, AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion with Sunscreen. This one has an SPF of 30, it's non-comedogenic. Ooh, so this one actually is a hybrid. So it has zinc oxide, so it's pretty much both a mineral and a chemical because zinc is it's a visible sunscreen component so i would definitely get this pseudofil just because again i just can't take a bargain with physical sunscreen um and then also has a lot of ceramides which i just talked about how my skin and ceramides just always you know where it's like mcdonald's and burger king which is don't always get along, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, overall, you guys already kind of know throughout the video what my take is on these two brands. Definitely think Cetaphil won the battle in this case. I probably have to look into other products, but so far, I mean, for three products to, you know, have my heart. And I definitely, definitely think that Cetaphil is a winner here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video has been long overdue. Everyone and their mom has already done this video on Cetaphil and CeraVe, but I really wanted to put my, you know, my own little spin on it for you guys. I really appreciate you guys so much for watching these videos. If you enjoyed it hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel join the family you guys know what to do i don't have to tell you guys just support your girl so that we can reach more people of color and just more people who are obsessed with skincare just like us i'll see you guys next time bye